does come bursting through the doors, make some noise as he comes on. And everyone, this is Callum. Callum is 15 years old and he's a real nice guy. Pick up your hands, give him a wave to say hello, and he'll say hi back. Now you all have a very, very important job while Callum is out here. He's going to be trying his best doing what he does. If he does anything good, anything you like, your job is to let him know. He's going to be working so hard, and if you don't cheer, the poor guy will have to take extreme measures and cheer for himself. Now that's just embarrassing for everyone. <laughs> but we do need a little bit of noise from our audiences. Now the first thing we're going to answer with the help of Callum is what kind of animal he is. Now, right now you're all going to we know what animal he is. But we read your TripAdvisor reviews. At least half the people that come to this safari park don't know they've seen a sea lion because Callum, everybody goes home thinking that you are a seal. I know it's a seal. <laughs> if you did think he was a seal, don't worry, he has also been called a dolphin, a whale, a penguin, and more impressively three different people in my career, all of whom were adults, think that that is a seagull. <laughs> now if you think he's a seagull today, unfortunately you're beyond my help, but we're going to show you some differences between seals and sea lions. And the first difference involves how they move up on land. Sea lions are really, really good on land. They've got something called a rotating hip, and all that means is they can tuck all of their flippers underneath their body, and on land, even though Callum currently weighs over 30 stone, he can run, he can jump, and if he wants to, he can climb. Every sea lion wants a big sunbathing spot, so Callum is gonna climb our tower in the corner there. He's gonna run to the end, and because the audience will like it, He's then going to dive into the water! Yay! Oh no everyone, the sea lion's scared. <laughs> You're getting like a, a mediocre reaction. Watch this, it'll be the loudest they've been all show. You want to see him jump off the tower? Go on, you can do it Callum. You're just pretending to be a chicken. You're a real life sea lion. So Callum is going to climb up to the end and on three we're going to give him a cheer so he jumps in. One! Two, three! Now normally, Abby, I would, I would blame you. You're a terrible sea lion trainer. But we have got 600 people in here today. And that was like a light flutter. And you go, he's jumping off this terrifying tower, so we're going to have to do better than that. Are you ready? One, two, three! Yeah. Very well done, everyone. Now, although Callum was a little bit scared, how he moved is going to look way better than when we show you how a seal has to move. Their little joint is fixed in place, so they have to move around like a big fat slug. Doesn't look that impressive, but this is how a seal has to get from A to B. And the next difference is much harder for you all to spot, but it is Callum's ears. Either side of his lovely head, he's got sticky out ears. From the front, they look a little like Shrek ears, but if you see them, you're looking at a sea lion. Seals do have ears as well, but they don't have anything on the outside, just a tiny hole on either side of their head. But that one is quite tricky to see. Thankfully, the last difference is the most obvious, because it involves the size of their flippers. Now, for a bit of a comparison, we're going to get the audience's help. So if you're an adult, stick one hand up in the air, wave it around like you just don't care, and then have a good look at the size of your adult hand. Show it to any boys and girls you might be with. If you're not with kids, that's perfectly fine. Find the most immature person in your group and shove your hand in their face. Uh, your adult hands are about the same size as a seal flipper, which is cool until you compare it to the size of a sea lion flipper. So Callums are absolutely huge. He can use them if he wants to, to swim as fast as 25 miles an hour, whereas a seal typically goes about 8 miles an hour when they're swimming at full speed. Now these flippers are incredibly powerful as well. Callum can also use them to jump pretty high. He can actually, when he wants to, hit over three meters above the water. The problem is, you don't want to today, do you Callum? He says, do it yourself, Abby. <laughs> but hopefully, we've managed to show everyone the differences between a seal and a sea lion. I'm gonna double check. <laughs> I'd be happy if they know. Be so ready for this. What kind of animals, Callum? just a little bit of what our Callum can do. The thing is, people tend to come to our shows thinking that we've trained Callum to do all of this, 
so that he can perform for people. And we love having you. Believe me, we spend three lockdowns here alone. We're very happy to see people. But the main reason we train Callum is for his health. Although he looks very cute and cuddly, he is a 30 so large carnivore, just like a lion or a tiger. When we do our training with him, most of the things are to either check he's healthy or to help him keep healthy. So every day Callum is checked over from head to toe and all we've got to do is ask him. Usually with a large carnivore to get this close, you would have to sedate them for safety, but Callum is quite happy us having a good look all over him for anything like cuts or scratches. We can have a look inside his mouth, just like us going to the dentist. And he's also trained to accept injections, eye drops, anything that he could possibly need if he ever did become unwell. The problem is, if he does become unwell, Abby and I are not going to be the ones administering the medical care. We would call our vet down. Now, the vet is a lovely guy, very, very qualified, but he has something that none of the sea lion keepers have, and that is Callum. He's got a big bushy beard! Ah! <laughs> Now I am not kidding that the sea lions are terrified of the vet, but only because of his beard. And we want to make sure that our vet is safe. Sea lions don't have a collarbone like you or I, which means they're really flexible. The vet could be all the way down, perhaps looking at a bite on Callum's bum, and he can very quickly whip his head back and get our vet. Now, we're not to let that happen, that's bad. So the most important thing Callum actually knows how to do is to lie nice and flat on the ground, you know, like a plane ready for takeoff. But in this position, Callum will lie here nice and flat and still. If the vet was here, Abby would stay up by Callum's head. She sees him every single day. She sees her own family maybe twice a year. So if he's uncomfortable, she knows the signs to look for. Callum flares his nostrils, he shows his teeth, and he makes a noise that almost sounds like he's burping on the inside of his mouth. And that's his way of telling you that he's not happy with what's going on. But he looks beautiful today, so we're going to give him a cheer for his health check. Well done, you, Callum. You did good. Now, the other reason you would train an animal like Callum is because he is so, so smart. We need to work out his body and his brain. And to do this, we play lots and lots of different games with him on a daily basis. So we're going to start off with a little bit of working on his coordination. So behind you, Abby, there is a hula hoop. Now, in theory, Callum has these very sensitive whiskers on his face. He can use them to feel where that ring is if you were to hold it out, say, above the water, and find the center. So we're going to test that theory today. In theory, Callum can do this. Just depends if he wants to or not. So we're going to give it a try. Here we go. Now, we can play all kinds of games with him. The problem is, Abby, I was, I was speaking to Callum just before the show. He's really fed up with playing games with you. Yeah, he's he heard it from the horse's mouth. So unfortunately, you're not going to be playing our games today. We do have some help in our audience. So I am looking for Sasha. So Sasha, if you want to stand up, give us a little wave. Hiya! And what I'm going to get you to do is come in over to this gate over at this side, and I am going to come and meet you. So make some noise for Sasha. Well, you're going to come and stand right over here by Abby. And Sasha, have you ever met a sea lion before? No? Now hopefully, you and Callum up there are going to be best friends. But the way we make sure is you're going to give him a big wave to say hello. You wave back, now you're best friends. Well done you. Now Callum does have a game he likes to play with his friends. So Abby has got a basketball for you. Do you want to take hold of that? Now, have you ever played sea lion basketball before? No, now I'll explain the rules to you. So what I'm going to get you to do is hold that ball as high as you can for me. Well done. Now, on the count of three, you're going to run to the end of the beach. You're then going to jump in the water, but keep the ball nice and high. Callum will come and jump over you and bring it back, okay? <laughs> you don't want to go in that water, do you? That's a hell of a toilet. Smell pretty bad, right? So do you think instead you could throw that ball? Do you think you could do that? Yeah, so give it a big throw for me and Callum will do the hard work. So you ready? One, two, three, big throw. Well done, that was a good throw. It's better than most adults. Now Callum is going to go, he's going to have a little play and then he's going to bring that ball back. If it comes towards you, you've got to catch it like a goalkeeper. He's definitely going the wrong way. There you go, well done. Give him a cheer. <laughs> Now Callum did a really good job bringing that ball back. So what we do is we give him a little fish to say well done, but 
your throw was one of the best I've ever seen, so I'm going to ask the audience a really important question. Do you all think Sasha deserves a fish too? Yeah. Yeah. If you turn to Abby, open up your mouth. <laughs> she doesn't want to eat the fish. It's a bit smelly, isn't it? Do you think Callum would like it more than you? If you take that, give it a big throw up to Callum, and it will vanish just like that. Now, we do have a bit of a problem. Have a little smell of your hands. It's fishy, right? So I'm going to show you how to clean them. Put them together like this. Rub them really fast. A little bit faster. A little faster. Clean down your t-shirt just like that. Well done. It's just so much better now. Now, Callum is a little bit nicer than Abby and I when it comes to thank yous. And rather than giving you a fish, Callum likes to give his friends little kisses on the hand. So if you watch Abby, all you've got to do is make a little fist, hold it up to his nose, and he'll give you a gentle kiss. So here we go, everyone. She's going to give it a try. Give her a big cheer, well done. And we have one last thing for you to do. So I'm going to count to three, and on three, we're all going to take a bow just like this, and the audience are going to give you a massive cheer. So you're ready for this. One, two, three, big bow. We're going to walk on off. Now, I am going to tell you, when we get over here, we should probably wash our hands again. Because even though you've cleaned your hands just like a sea lion trainer, sometimes you smell a little bit fishy. So, if you stick your hands back under here, give them a scrub of them, and then everyone give her a big cheer as she makes her way back down. Now, Callum, I think the audience are now really, really jealous of Shapasha. They're very jealous. So, how about we play a game that everyone can get involved with. So this involves five colourful rings. This again works out Callum's whiskers. In theory, he can feel all five rings fly through the air, and he can move his head in order to catch them. There is, however, one problem with this game, is that there are five rings. Abby and I are both northern, and therefore we can't count that high. So get this. You guys are going to do the counting for us! So much fun, right? Now, unfortunately for you guys, the two members of staff have got no shame or embarrassment, and they were louder than you. We don't want that. We want to drive them out. So are you ready with number two?